face it, you're no match for a bunch of monks, let alone two seasoned street fighters. But I am. Hammer. Seahawk, after all we've been through together, call me Satin. Hammer, listen to me. You've got to stop this madness. We were close once. You trusted me. Trusted my judgment. Until you turned against me. Still, under the right circumstances, I'd welcome you back with open arms. After all, I haven't forgotten how good we were together. Have you? Don't listen to her, T-Hawk. Remember who your real friends are. Quiet! We have things to work out. Only one thing, really. You have to prove yourself to me, T-Hawk. Prove that you're still loyal. By you dropping the bomb for me on Livermore Labs. That tears it, lady. I'm taking you out. Sonic! No! Ugh, what are you doing? We're up way too high. You know you really can't fly. But if I can glide, just enough to break our fall. Okay, mister. I want an explanation, and it better be good. You almost got us killed, and you've let Satinhammer escape with an atomic bomb! Her henchmen were behind you, Guile. About to fire. I didn't see any henchmen. It looked more like you were saving her than me, Hawk. Maybe you've still got a taste for Satin. You gotta think with your head, not your heart. No! They were going to shoot! Are you two going to argue all day, or are we going after that thermonuclear device? Metal, T-Hawk. Just catch her ship. You should have the Hammer's airship in radar range just about... Gotcha! Down there! Hold steady, T-Hawk. Can't keep her in my sights. I'm trying, but there's air turbulence. They're going down. I think you got them, guy. No, I never scored a direct hit, thanks to T-Hawk. <laughs> then, what happened? Could they have crashed? That would solve our problem once and for all. Without your technology, you are all blind. I sense her. She still lives. Her ship, it must have turned into a sub. Yeah, she figures to lose us underwater. Are you saying we've no way to track her? Satin Hammer's one? This is all your fault! If you hadn't stolen the warhead in the first place! Correction, Colonel. If your people hadn't deployed it in the first place, innocent lives would not be menaced by your depraved science now. We don't need to track her, gentlemen. She told T-Hawk where she wants to drop the bomb. A place called Livermore. Livermore, California is home to a major nuclear weapons research facility. That must be her target. But even a submarine can't move through the water as fast as we can fly, so we can get a jump on her. The way I figure it, her course will force her near the surface at this shallow pass right here. If we can reach the island before her, we can cut her off, make sure that bomb never hits the States. If I'm right, Hammer's sub ought to be passing below us any minute now. Yes, I sense her presence. The time is now. Okay, Blanca, your job is to bring that sub to the surface. I'll give him a dose of my electrified personality. to stop the hammer here. Leave it to me. Not this time, T-Hawk. You're staying behind. What? You can't cut me out of this. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Maybe. No way. We both know Hammer's still got some kind of hold over you. Now set her down, T-Hawk, and stay with the plane while we... Land the plane yourself, Guile. I gotta deal with this my way! T-Hawk, so you finally got rid of Guile. I've considered your offer, Hammer. Oh, goody. Come here, T-Hawk. Let me give you a proper greeting. That is, if you've made the right choice. I want you, T-Hawk, on my side, to share my triumph. Prove yourself worthy of me. All you have to do is push the button, make them pay for what they did to me! With a nuclear warhead? Oh, think of it as corporate downsizing. 
couldn't happen to more deserving men than those liars at Livermore Labs. Look what they did to me, used me, left me like this. My brain was brilliant. My body was dying. They promised to fund my project, use my robotic theories to build me a new android body. But it was only a ploy. All they really wanted was my work, my secrets, not me. Once they had what they wanted, they cut my funding, left me like this. Still half human! I saw in your suffering, I saw in your own loss, Diok, the one man who could really understand me. Understand, yes. Condone, no. Despite all I've lost, I can't be so careless about the innocent lives you'll destroy. Doesn't my happiness mean anything to you? I feel sorry for you, for your soul. Put the laser down. Surrender the bomb to me. I surrender to no man. You wouldn't shoot me now, would you? Satin? Shot! Sounds like I'm just in time for a fight. Come on! You... you shot me! You're a fool, T-Hawk. We could have had so much together. So much. T-Hawk! Is he... No, he's okay. It's only a wound. I told him to stay behind. He wouldn't listen. My sentiments exactly. Even without T-Hawk, there's four of us and one of you, Hammer. The odds are against you. Uh-uh-uh. Wrong, Guile. Dead wrong. We had a shot. Do you need help? Not now, you worthless fool. The Satin Hammer doesn't need you. Doesn't need any man. I've got my finger on the button. Uh, careful with that detonator. We could all die. Duh, moron. One more step and I'll blow us all to kingdom come. All of us? If I can't have my revenge, at least I'll have the satisfaction of taking you with me. No! Ugh. My remote! Got it! And so have I. The bomb's timing mechanism is activated. Nothing can stop it now! We've got less than two minutes until the device detonates! What are we going to do? There is nothing we can do. The cosmic fates have decreed. We are doomed. No, Talsim! Now, you are the one who is blind. If you could see beyond your stubborn anti-materialism, you'd realize scientific knowledge is the only thing that can save us now. He's right, Elsie. With your savvy, we might stand the chance of deactivating the bomb. Even if I wanted to help, the fission mechanism is inside the casing. There is no way to access it. Right! No, what's your excuse? I have done all I can to forget what I knew of science. Well, think fast. There's only 30 seconds left. Ah, now I remember. The opening to the fission chamber. I must be very... Delicate. Hurry, Talsim. He can't reach it! No, not if I were bound by your immutable laws of physics. Fortunately, I have advanced beyond such simple-minded perceptions and embraced the limitless enlightenment of metaphysics. It takes great concentration. And it comes at a cost. Phew. That was too close for comfort. Whatever the cost. It was worth it. I am glad you said that, Colonel Sawada, since my price is that you call off the nuclear testing. Certain Hammer. She's the one who really should pay. But she's gone. <sighs> I am not happy about what you did to me, Dalsim. I'll never forget that it was you who made me into a monster. But... If I had not acquired my electrical abilities in the mutation process, we wouldn't have been able to stop Satin Hammer today. So, maybe there's a greater purpose to my transformation than I can comprehend. And had I not used my knowledge of science, millions of innocents would have been destroyed. Perhaps we both have been too rigid and judgmental in our thinking. Mm. I must contemplate this further. Mm. As must I. Goodbye, Darcy. Sawada, looks like you'll be breaking the rules this time. Have you figured out what you're going to tell your superiors back at the AN yet? I'll think of something. After all, I told Dalsim I'd halt the testing. And I am a man of my word. Welcome to humanity, you rule-breaking renegade, you. 
She shot me. I can't believe she shot me. Tried to blow you up with an A-bomb, too. So, you over her yet?